people. I feel like I'm sucking my booty cheeks in because they're big. I can feel the wind. I can feel it in the air. Like literally one gust of wind the wrong way. You be Betty Boop. Whole it. ass gonna be out. Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Another episode of Sundays. Um, it's currently Sunday, it's Mother's Day. And my bestie, Steph, came to save the day. Say hey, Steph. She came to help me take a work picture. Cause I was not gonna take it. I was gonna wait till next week hoping I saw her on Thursday. You got a little bubble butt. But she said she was gonna come take a photo of me. No, seriously, when did all these buildings get here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was gonna be a bad drawing. That was a two for one. Um, so yeah, we're in Northern Libs. Gonna take a quick photo. And then I have another outfit in the car. Um, her t-shirt's cute. Taylor Swift, the Harris tour. I didn't know the girlies like Taylor like that. Like not enough to be selling out Philly. Yeah. Three nights in a row. Three nights in a row. And it was literally to the tippy top. That's Did you see the tailgate? Out here. Yeah, that was crazy. I can't believe you on the tape. We see the yeah, tailgate. Okay. Can I take a picture right here? Yeah. Oh my God, my dress is going to fly up. <laughs> Oh, I know that song. Yeah. But not enough to go to no concert. Did you see my videos? Yes, you are crazy. <laughs> uh, Steph is a Taylor. I'm a Swifty. A Swifty stand. All right, let me see. This grass is kind of janky. They could have put better florals. I just feel like Philly in general is janky. Oh, my boxes. Oh, see, when I tried to buy a picnic basket, you told me no. You don't All right, let's it. try right here. My squishy man. What you crying for, baby? Huh? You said your feelings was hurt because I put you down. Oh my goodness, my mom put me down. Why would she do that? Why would she do that? She know I like being held. Huh? What is this? Is this for you or is this a party? Ooh. All right, so I'm back home from taking pictures. Um. I got some cute photos. I don't know if they're like Instagram work. Was it just not focused or was that me? Um, I don't know if they're like Instagram worthy. I don't know. I don't know. Trying not to stress myself out about work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you want to touch? I don't know what will be my next opportunity <laughs> to take a photo. I mean, they're cute, but like, it's not like, oh, they going to gram up with this one. You know, like they not that vibe, um, which is okay. But it's definitely not giving like, oh, oh my God, my earrings are, what? It's definitely not giving, I'm going to shut the gram down, which is okay. I'm kind of at that point in my life with Instagram where I just post. Marcus, why would you do that? <laughs> where I just post nice pictures and not like, oh, like this is my best work. Because like, I don't care about Instagram anymore. It's just not like my favorite platform or whatever. So yeah, I got my picture. Don't eat it. You're going to taste like vanilla. Ew, why would you want to do that? I got home from doing that and then um, this was hanging out. I'm about to go make some lunch for me and the kids. But Harp is currently washing her hair because she asked me to blow dry her hair and curl it. I don't know. She wants to she wants to get her hair dicified. Y'all, I'm not tripping, right? Y'all see that, right? Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Why is the camera doing that? Sony, this is like my one millionth ZB1. Get it together, babes. What's the vibes? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna straighten Harper's hair in a second and then I'm going to wash my hair because I haven't washed my hair since Monday. It's Sunday, so I definitely need to wash my hair. I'm gonna spruce her up, get her going. I like my little refreshing Dyson curls. Mm. Thank you so much. You got chapstick? Mmm. So yeah, we're gonna go eat some lunch really quickly. Um, but I was telling you guys how I was like not feeling Mother's Day or whatever and Steph came over to help me take my pictures and she brought a card for the kids to sign. Harper wrote me a little letter. Um, she traced Enzo's hand for me on a card and he wrote stuff on it. And then she brought me a little bottle of wine. This is one of our favorite wines, me and my girl. Um, she brought me some rum. So I'm gonna go put this in the refrigerator because I'm gonna drink her tonight, <laughs> okay? What are you doing? What do you want? I'm gonna drink that tonight. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little life update. I need to put my earrings on. I hate how I look with no earrings. What? 
Um, so yeah, let me go figure out what the kids are eating for lunch and dinner, actually, because it's actually dinner time. It's not even lunch time. It's six o'clock. Um, I just, you know, when you're just not used to the sun still being up, so I'm still adjusting to that type of stuff. Hey guys, so right now is eight nineteen, and I'm just gonna show y'all my hair. So this is my hairstyle, and I think my mom is in the shower by right now, so I will see you guys. Good morning, guys. It's a good heart here today. Um, it's a school day. Um, and I just saw my hairy. Did um, my mom just used her little hair set? She just brushed it, and you know, yeah. So I'm gonna. Where you going, Hart? To see my, my husband. husband. Actually, I don't have a husband. I have a best friend. All right, we're about to take Harp to school. It's kind of falling already, but it's okay. Harp got her little big curl curls in. Sorry. You got your hair clip just in case mm -hmm. you need a hair tie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Ew, what? 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 Um, cause I am going to do my nails. So for like the last couple of weeks, I've been doing like these little French tippies, mm -hmm. like just a thin line at the bottom, not like a full deep French. Cause I don't feel like the nails are long enough for that. Um, but I'm going to be trying something different. Mm -hmm. A lot of you guys were saying you want me to show you how I do my nails. So I am, I have recorded how I do. I'll show you guys today. I need to go get a spoolie on my office and brush my eyelash. Mm -hmm. That was nasty. So I have popped. Mm -hmm. So I have removed two nails off so I can show you like the full application. And then these ones, they had like, um, what's it called? They started lifting because I'm left-handed. So I'm like more rough with my left hand. Um, so I had like just removed the part that was lifting, like cut that part down so I could fill it. Um, but let me show you guys what I got. Did I need more nails? Though? No, but I swear I was a nail tech in my past life i do not like the bun like the ballerina bun has to go but i'm gonna do my hair later so and so still my protein shake the first thing i picked up was some like silver chrome because i think what i want to do to my nails is like this little chrome design i have an inspo pick and hopefully i can make it work if not i'm just gonna go back to my frenchy tippies uh, for now because they don't take me that long to do like the longest part about doing my nails is like the actual application because this isn't uh my eyelashes are so tangled i'm gonna go brush them right after this my eyelashes aren't uh what is this oh um, they're not gel x so when i do like these like short little squares because i like my nails short just because they're easier for me to use on a day-to-day -day basis like i don't have to worry about breaking my nails changing enzo's diaper stuff like that so i just prefer like a elongated short so yeah like i was saying i gotta take this bun now like it's like the bun is too big for me it's giving ballerina it's giving childish it's giving adolescent toddler that goes to ballet class but anyway so um yeah like sometimes i do apply like just like the full coverage gel gel Gelex tips, um, like different brands from Amazon I have tried. I've also used like the real Gelex tips from like a prey. I don't actually like those ones. And the reason I don't like those ones is because my nails are naturally like super flat. Like I don't have like a natural like apex. Um, and the Gelex one, it's always like a gap. So that's why I don't really like those ones. The ones from Amazon I found to be like more, yes Enzo, thank you. The ones from Amazon I found to be like more flat like my nail and like a little softer which i prefer i feel like once you kind of use them you figure out which like form you like better so sometimes i use those um but i don't always get the application perfect with those either so i was trying a new method and this week is what i'm that's what i'm doing so once i go through my nails i'll show you guys like the method i've been doing right now also right now my priority is to like grow my nails out to this length not well this is a bad example hand because that's the hand it's not that my goal is to grow my nails out to this length so i don't have to do the tips so i just been taking like a different approach to um extending them um so yeah i picked up a box of these just because these were like naturally like a taper square short 
so that if I ever want to go back to applying these tips, they'll be easier for me to like get the shape that I want. Um, just because they're already that tapered square that I like. So I think these were like $10 or something like that. And you get a lot of nails. You're like, this way, it's the same thing. It's just, it's, it's like a quick process as well. But at the same time, it could be kind of lengthy if you're not like a professional at it. Because I like to get it perfect and stuff like that. But yeah anyways so there's the way i'm going to show you how to do my nails later and then there's that way um it just kind of depends on what i'm in the mood to do how long i need my nails to last stuff like that um i also have picked up some nail art brushes because i have some but they had got messed up like in my old nail kit because they weren't like being properly stored but now that i have a better like system for them I was like, let me get some new ones, especially since I've been doing like Frenchies and stuff. So they came with all of these these little ones. This is like a cheap little kit. It wasn't like nothing like super, super expensive. I think it was like 10 to $15 for all of these. I um, probably don't need all of them, but I just was like, why not? I mostly use like the liner brushes um, to do like my designs to be like super precise. And then it came like with a bunch of dotting tools in different sizes. I don't know why I just realized the, the dotting tools are different side dots yes i know i mostly got this kit though because it came like with this little petri dish thing that so if you want to like put your polishes on it so you could do your designs i needed this for like when i do my french and stuff and i got this kit because the price of this being sold separately it just didn't make sense so i got the kit okay um but yeah that is like so you could wipe your nail polish on it and stuff like that when i had picked up some silver chrome powder like i said it's just a silver one by beetles um and then i picked up some acrylic powder i picked up some acrylic powder because this is a little flower design i want to try but i want to make my flowers like 3d so i saw on tiktok that if you make your flower designs like in your polish on your nail and then dip it into acrylic it makes it just like more raised than the rest of your nail so it looks like cool so i had just picked this up from rosalyn um it was like four dollars i didn't need like anything like super high end because i wasn't doing like a full acrylic set um, and then I had just picked up um, some nail colors because I have a nail color that I've been really enjoying, which is this base color, but it's running low. So I'm trying to find like a similar shade to it. So I got these two from Fizeness, Fizeness. Um, this is a new brand I've been trying on Amazon and I like the like consistency so far. Like I like their top coat and stuff. Um, so this is this one. Mm, let me see. It's actually pretty close. It actually might be a really, really, really good call on my end. You're not going to really be able to see it. Um, but it's like a little bit more rosy. But I think with two coats, I actually might like it a little bit more than the one I have on my nails. Um, this one is in 330. And then I picked up another one, same company. And this one is a little peachier. Oh, yeah, I ate that. I ate that. So I just needed like new base colors for like these types of sets that I need under colors. Um, like I have a whole bunch of colors. I have a whole bunch of like nudier, deeper peaches, but I needed like these light ones for spring. That's all I got in the mail today. So once I get home from getting Harper from school and feeding them lunch, I'm gonna go do my nose um, and I need to do my hair today. Started doing my laundry and stuff. Um, I can finish my loads. So my loads are in the wash and dryer. I set to start the kids and that's pretty much all that's on my agenda today because tomorrow we're going on a date a date tomorrow we're going on a date uh yeah so well because you still did i don't know how i want to do my hair like i, I think i'm gonna use my dyson obs ah. what uh, all right so i'm in my lab aka my little comfy lounge chair in my room watching the rest of my movie um and i have all my nail stuff set up excuse me I just had a little snack. So I'm gonna show you guys like my little setup for what I'm doing for today. Um, and then I will kind of film little bits and bobs of what I'm doing to kind of show you guys. But if you're curious, just type in like poly gel application like on TikTok and you'll see a lot of videos on it. Um, but let me show you guys everything that I use for what I'm doing today to get my hands look like this. And I don't know what design I'm doing yet, but we'll assess it at the end. I just have everything like neatly set up right here so you guys know i have my like little clear case and i just put like my nail file my cuticle stuff uh my buffer some like what's these called pads to clean your nails that don't leave anything behind um some of my extra drill bits and some stuff like that 
Then I have my nail drill. It does come with like a holder part for this, but I don't remember where I put that. Ignore my Apple TV remote. This is the brush you use for poly gel. It has a spatula on one end and a brush on the other to make it like super easy to use. I have my tips sorted out. Um, I have my clear poly gel. It's easier to use a colored poly gel because you can see it a little bit better. Um, like the clear, you literally cannot see what you're doing, um, but I just use a clear. And then I have my little dish thing filled with alcohol, my nail lamp, obviously, my primer, the hydrator, nail glue, my gel polishes, top coat, base coat, um, my dust wiper thing, and then my white polish and that clear gel I told you I bought. And then I have my box of tips right here. Um, I had these for a really, really long time and I don't feel like I'm putting a dent in it, but I use these from time to time. And then I just have my little dish right here. And then I have my tips sorted out for the fingers I need to put back on because I told you it was like lifting. So I was like, let me just fix it while I'm at it. Um, so basically what I do, I already had like a uh, file, like buff my natural nail um, to kind of make it like a little grippy you know i'm gonna put some primer on them i don't always use primer i honestly feel like when i use primer my nails come off easier i don't know that's just me though um but i use it sometimes this isn't like a primer that i bought separately this is the primer that came like in the apray kits it didn't make sense for me to buy them since i had some in those kits that i don't use so i'm gonna put the primer into the hydrator or whatever the order they go and I only have three nails to do from scratch, but then I have to repair the other two. Basically, what you would do is, where do I do with that thing? I have a nail clipper, like for extension nails, but I don't know where it's at. But anyways, so I just put some nail glue onto the tippy tip. And I like brush on glue just because it's like a little bit more control. I have more control. And then just apply the tip like usual, like they do at the nail salon, you know? um so i apply the tip i apply my tip like not halfway on the nail but like a little bit higher i feel like at nail salon like they always put it like at the tippy tip um i just like to have like a little bit more support because i like i told you guys my nails do break like really really easily so i'm just gonna go in and cut them like a little bit longer than i want them because i'm gonna shape them and stuff so I trimmed them. I'm just going to give them a light little buff and shape. So that way when I apply the poly gel on top, like the standard shape that I want is like kind of already there so that I could just, you know, apply it on top and then go in and freshen it up a little bit. This is a little spatula brush end thing that you use for poly gel. It does get super sticky. I wish I had like some latex gloves, but I don't. So it's fine just because I hate the feeling of the sticky stuff all over my hands. But I put like one of these little pads so I could just like brush out the excess alcohol. Basically what you'll do is you'll like put the slip solution. I have the slip solution, but I don't like it because it's oily. So I prefer alcohol. Um, and you'll basically get like a little bead of the poly gel depending on the nail that you're doing it on and then you'll apply the bead to the nail go in with the brush end and basically you just start to paint you know like you just do like some dabbings make it straight get it to where it needs to be coat the tip push it up to the cuticles but not all the way you don't want current contact dermatitis and you just literally play with it and build your nail. So that's why I like using tips with it. Because I feel like I have more control like this. I always struggle with my left hand. Because you guys know I am left handed. Like I can do my nails. Um, but it's not. The right hand is always my best side. But, but yeah I cured one nail one by one. Um, just because I don't want it to move. Because it, it will like not slide around. But like if you were like moving your hands in a million different directions. The poly gel will move y'all i just finished my movie i'm in here crying <laughs> like a baby <laughs> oh my god why did nobody warn me that the movie oh was so god. freaking sad oh my gosh when i tell you i'm in here literally crying like not a tear i'm in here crying at this movie it was so sweet it's called a, a man cop called Otto. apparently it came out last year i don't know how i never saw it but wow okay i just wanted to come over here and tell you guys to watch the movie because we all need a good cry every now and again and that movie did it for me so i'm gonna go back to doing my nose um that movie is literally it reminded me of like last week's vlog when i just feel like old people but like 
they be needing us more than we need them and you just really have to be kind to people you just never know whose day you're gonna make but all right i'm gonna go finish my nose because i had to take a quick intermission to cry but okay all right i'll be right back <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to head out. Um, I just figured I'd show you guys a quick OOTD. I gotta just take my retainer off. I don't need that. Um, I just have one of those hoops from Princess Polly, some jewelry, same jewelry as always. I had like curled my hair. I got on that bomber I bought from Zara last week, um, a Skims bodysuit, Zara jeans, and then I have on um, my Gucci Ursula. It's a little vintage moment. Um, but yeah, I'm running late, so I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna take my vlog camera kind of parked not gonna lie i'm gonna go brush my teeth really quick mouthwash <laughs> not because i'm doing anything but because i have my retainer in and then i will come back on here when i get home so i need some hairspray my hair got like so flat but it's whatever it ha it'll have to do for right now i'm so so bad i'll be back y'all happy wednesday friends it is wednesday we're back last time you guys saw me i was dressed Going on my date that I told you guys about. Enzo, watch out, buddy. Opening the curtains. This is my first time opening the curtains today. Um, but yeah, last time you guys saw me was yesterday when I was heading out for my date. I was I didn't run behind. I was actually a couple minutes early, which was my plan anyways. Because <laughs> I wanted to go have like a drink before he got there so that I could just like simmer down. I was so nervous yesterday. Um, and I definitely think I was nervous because... That was like my first date that was all on me since um, I had Enzo, since obviously that situation. I've been on one other, I've been on a date before with one other person since I had Enzo, but that was like a blind date. That was our friends hooking us up. Um, so this one is someone that like, I vetted myself. We've been talking for a while now. Um, and yesterday was the first time we met. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed myself, surprisingly. I did. I mean, I kind of expected it because, like I said, we had been talking for a while. Um, I was planning to, like, bring my vlog camera <laughs> and, like, update you guys in the bathroom. But the place was crowded anyway, so that wouldn't have worked. Um, and um, let me put... Must you follow me everywhere, little boy? But yeah, I had a great time yesterday. Um, I don't know. I was, like, super nervous, though, like, in the beginning. I called Stephanie when I was um, there, like waiting for him. Because like I said, I got there a little bit early because I'd rather be early than late like that to that type of stuff, like first impressions. It's, sister, it's your sister's book bag. So I was sitting there and I called Steph because there was like so many people. I, I did not think it was going to be so many people at this rooftop lounge on a weekday, but apparently because the weather was nice, it was like sunset, so, like the sun was setting. It was like so perfect. Um, and they had said it's like smack dab, right? Because basically the way that like the lounge is set up, well, the rooftop, it's like there's a bunch of like little tables everywhere but on the rooftop itself it's like big like sectional couches it's just us two and we had this big sectional to just us two Dad, right in the is. middle so i just felt like an eyesore first i had to call my Dad, friend i was like, so nervous i was like car sick and an uber on the way there i have no idea why like you would have thought that i was about to get married and go see my husband or something like i was so nervous yesterday um but it went really really well i don't know We'll see what the future holds. But anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on that. But I got a package in the mail. I don't know what this is, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what this is. It's a white box. It doesn't say anything on it. So let's open this up together. Um, it's only Wednesday. I feel like I'm like kind of all over the place this week because Harper didn't have school yesterday, so I feel like it kind of like threw me off. Like today, I swear it's the weekend. And to find out it's only Wednesday when I thought it was at least Thursday, it's kind of wild to me um oh this is so cute it says milk makeup milk hearts moms you do it all you deserve a product that does it all for you meet the mother of all concealers milk makeups that's a tongue twister milk makeups future fluid all over cream concealer it's a multi-use medium to full coverage concealer that covers scopes and hydrates for a lightweight crease proof second skin finish xo the milk fam you're out the door in five minutes routine so it says build your base add some color finish your off so i actually have milk stuff and i actually really like it the only thing i've ever tried for milk that i obviously uh like wasn't a fan of was the primer which i think is in here and that's because it gave me an allergic reaction but i have like super sensitive skin with primers anyways um but like i gave it to steph and stuff like loves that primer so yeah so i got let's see i got the primer in here 
Um, I'm gonna give this one to Steph again because she said she like really, really loves it. And I loved the way it made my skin feel, like the texture when I applied it. Um, but it, you know what's crazy? I honestly think it's probably not even this that gave me an allergic reaction, that it might be like this combined with the makeup that I put on top that it just didn't blend well. Like sometimes I feel like not all formulas are compatible. I definitely think that might be the problem. Um, I mean, I could try it again when I don't have no plans though. So yeah, they sent me the primer. They sent me the setting spray, which I've been dying to try this. Every time I went to order it on Sephora, it was always sold out. You guys see me looking at the windows because I'm nosy as hell. But I was like so pressed to try this. And every time I went to get it, I was like, why is it always gone? And it made me want it even more. But I'm always trying to find like a super, super nice setting spray. Cause I use like the hourglass one, which I like. I don't think it's worth like the $50. Like I've never noticed a difference in my makeup when I use that one. I wish it was a continuous setting spray, but like for $50, it's crazy. It's crazy. I've been wanting to try this one. As you guys can see, his speech therapy has been working out for him. He also had speech therapy this morning. Um, and then they sent me, <laughs> I remember it was all this like, talk about these on TikTok because they're so tiny and they are in fact tiny, but I don't think you need a lot of this product anyway, Luz. Um, So they sent me their highlighter, um, their lip and cheek, like little, let's call them my like, little sticky sticks. And, oh, that one's the concealer. So they sent me one highlighter. This is in a shade lit. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, it's so cute. It's definitely, like, so friendly, like, to just throw in your purse for, like, touch-ups and stuff. Oh, this is going to be nice. It's, like, a nice um, champagne gold. He's very passionate about what, whatever's going on in his mind. He is so passionate about. So, yeah, that's it. That's a really nice universal color. I'm going to try that out this week. And then they sent me two of the blushes. This is Quickie and Muse. And they sent me two concealers. They sent me 14N and 21W. Uh, thank God. I actually needed some concealers because I haven't, I've been like mixing a couple of mine to get like that perfect shade recently. Since I have like a little bit of tan still. Wait a minute. Does that match? It kind of looks like I could pull that off, like I could make it work, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this one is 21W. Okay, whoever was in charge of the packet in my package, I don't know what colors I needed. Y'all smart. And then they sent me um, the Rise Mascara, which honestly, I needed a new mascara, because since I don't, <laughs> he just went and got a nugget and came back. Like you could have stayed over there and ate your food. Since I don't like use mascara often, I, um always need new ones because they dry out quickly so this is their mascara oh this pack they have the cutest packaging ever it's like a silicone sleeve on it with like ridges um yes love me some oh i shouldn't have opened it because now i have to use it right that's a nice wand though this packaging is so, i would buy it just for the packaging it just feels so fancy because it has like the ridges can you guys hear that and it's just a silicone. Love that. Come on, milk with it. Like the silver concealer. Everything's given like futuristic. You know what I'm saying? So, top of the morning, top of the morning. Happy Saturday. Um, it's Saturday. I'm starving, but that's another story for another day. But it's Saturday. I'm going to head downtown in a little bit to go to like this grand opening of like a new. Um, skin place that's opening up in Philly. So I'm gonna do that, let me get some lunch because I'm starving. Um, but I just did like a little light makeup, not like makeup makeup, like I don't have any um, foundation on or concealer, but what did I use? I used those two little things that we got from Milk Makeup this week. I used the blush lip stain and I had like blotted it on my lips a little bit just to add like a little rosy color and then some on my cheeks, not too much because I don't have no makeup on. Um, and then I added the highlight to the high points of my face, my eyebrow, my cheekbone, tip of the nose, um, lip, chin and stuff like that. And I have eyelash extensions so that's kind of all I'm doing today because it's gloomy. It's like raining, gloomy, no sun and kind of cold it's like 72 degrees tops today so i was like <laughs> um i don't want to go outside but i'm just wearing like a gray over to your sweatsuit 
the one I had got a couple weeks ago and I'm gonna wear my um silver Romero's I had tried on my outfit earlier just to make sure that's what I wanted to wear I wanted to look like chill casual cool together which is why I have like my hair gelled back so I look like clean looking even though I have a sweatsuit on you know like I don't want to look like I rolled out a bad sweatsuit but like I wanted to look good in my sweatsuit let's have on my little SC necklace that I've been wearing all the time, my studs, and my Cartier ring, um, as always, but ignore the laundry. <laughs> ignore the laundry. I know, I know, I know. Do you guys expect anything less from me at this point? Um, but yeah, all right, let me go eat. Not the gel. And this little tank top is from Zara. I just have all my PJ pants right now. But all right, let me go make me an egg. I'm gonna take my symbiotic this morning. Yesterday, I took it in the afternoon. What in the hell? <sighs> um, I took my somebody yesterday in the afternoon, so I'm gonna take what well, is the afternoon now too. All right, I'll be right back. Top the roof and let the smoke clear. I actually think the battery's dying, so let me grab an extra battery. Please hold. We're back. We're zoomed in, but it's cool. We're back, right? It's Tuesday. This is my first time getting on this vlog camera since, like, Saturday. Let me explain. Um, Matter of fact... Shall we cue the montage? I don't even know where we're at. I don't know. Maybe y'all saw the montage already. Maybe I'm gonna drop it right here. Feeling young, but they treat me like an OG. And they want the tea on me. I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head. I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head. My niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while. You can't control me. Who know those traits in a race? They can't hold me. And I show my face in a case. So you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery. It's just annoying me. camera since saturday and that's because i went out saturday um very impromptu you guys saw i went to the grand opening of skin house and written house then i went to lunch with my friend um and then i came home i like napped a little bit relaxed then i went outside i went outside like old times too like like pre-covid times right was out all night went everywhere to the bar to like the club to who could <laughs> everything right did that saturday was pooped like burnt out pooped woke up sunday did it all again and i i haven't done that y'all know I, I don't really go out that often um but i went on sunday i went to a day party i went to like a other day party that ended an hour other than later than the other one then i went to the strip club just was a whole weekend and i have just been in the house catching up on sleep because i didn't sleep all weekend okay i'm old my liver is not livering like it used to i just i had to recover I wasn't like hungover and 
And so, so loud. I'm so sorry, guys. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I got in the mail today. Um, I had ordered some stuff from Amazon. So first of all, first stuff from Amazon. I am... Um, matter of fact, let me put the camera on Enzo's iPad because the pillow is just not... I'm such a genius sometimes. Um, I usually get, like, my hair ties from Target, you know, like the Goody brand. They're, like, $3.50. You get, like, what, 12 24 maybe 20 I don't know, something like that. They're crappy now they used to be really really good um but now they're not like they pop all the time they get super stretched out and loose so i had ordered some from amazon and i got 120 hair ties y'all are a necessity for me because i feel like the little packs from target i run through super quickly these are only eight dollars and they are so stretchy but like they're not gonna lose their stretch like these is this is giving old goody ones okay another one of these vlog lamps because mine's broke because you guys know this is without the light this is with the light. So I just feel like even though the Sony ZV-1 has good quality in general, I feel like this light always just kind of like enhances the quality a little bit, especially like considering, especially when you take into consideration like if I'm not in a good lighting condition. So yeah, and it was on sale this time. I got it for like $19, $20. Um, usually it's more than that. Um, and then I had to re-up on my skincare. You guys know, still using my La Roche cleanser and my La Roche moisturizer. I finished both literally i couldn't even get a pump out my bottle and i couldn't get a squirt out of this so i had to re-up on these um i don't ever mind re-upping on my skincare because i don't have too often because obviously this is a lot of face wash and this lasts me pretty long as well so yeah this is just my go-to skincare products so i had to up, up re-up on that um and then i got some like nail art liner brushes <laughs> y'all know i just be over here buying nail stuff all day i'd be on tiktok and on nail talk okay and i'd be like I could do that. I could do that. So yeah, so they just look like this. Um, I guess they're fancy. I don't know. But like as you can see, they are super, super, super thin, like precise as hell. So yeah, I just wanted to add like some brushes that were like precise like this to my collection. And they just come in like different lengths, like little short ones, long ones, medium. So yeah, I just picked these up. I also think I bought them because I think I was trying to fulfill like the $25 minimum to get my stuff same day. <laughs> so I think that's why I got it. But whatever, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And then the last thing I got today is I, I think I told y'all that I was done buying sneakers. Did I tell y'all that? I don't think I told that. I don't think I told y'all that. I have a pair of sneakers. This is my last pair of sneakers. These are the Travis Scott's uh, Jordan 1 Low OG SP. I don't know. Got mine at size 7 because that's my woman's shoe size. Um, I got mine from Goat. They were like six hundred dollars i believe um so you get the authentication you get a sticker um love the wrapping paper it's pink it says cactus jack um and then they look like this super super cute but i think we'll put the green on it so that it matches the reverse check the red is really nice too but like i don't wear red so i think we'll go with green um but i don't really like the white like the white is just a little too stark for me good morning friends it is wednesday morning oh my god my stomach <laughs> The stomach acidity that's going on right now on my stomach because I haven't ate since yesterday at like 2 p.m. Oh my gosh, right now I feel like crap. But good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning. Um, I'm currently on my way to the zoo because I told you guys I was chaperoning Harper's school trip, field trip. Sorry if y'all hear Summer Walker in the back. Um, so yeah, I'm just headed there. I opted to drive. They had said they gave the option up they were like you know space is limited on the bus of course so like if any of you don't mind driving please do you guys know i am noise sensitive i get overstimulated um and i was like i'm gonna drive i'm gonna drive it's like three third grade classrooms on one bus i don't even know how they're making that work right now but you know kudos to them because it couldn't be me first of all who are you truck trucking that sound at? Um, but yeah, it couldn't be me right now, especially this early morning. And I don't feel good, and I began car sick. So yeah, I'm just following them to the zoo. Um, you guys know, not really like the biggest fan of the zoo, especially the Philadelphia Zoo. Um, I just feel like the zoo here is kind of corny. Like, I don't know, the animals be looking real sad, real malnourished. They just be looking like, mm, 
Mm. So I don't really like the Philadelphia Zoo. And it's supposed to be hot today. It's supposed to be like 84 degrees or something crazy. I do want to go to the zoo in D.C. Because I know that's like a Smithsonian Zoo. So I'm sure that's a good zoo. But like if it's not Animal Kingdom. I don't really got no ramp for the zoo. But I know these kids on the bus. Like who is this lady that keeps following us? Because that's not her class. But yeah. Um, you guys know why I don't really like. Like the zoo. I know I'm gonna say it like this. I don't mind zoos as long as it's zoos that, like, obviously you could tell that the animals are like happy and like have control over their life situation. But like zoos, it is just like they look sad. I'd be sad for them. I'd be ready to go open the gates. But yeah, so I'm just doing that today. Did that little girl just give me the middle finger? Don't wave hi to me after you just gave me the middle finger. She literally did. Not only did she just give me the middle finger. She gave me two middle fingers. And then because I call her, gonna wave hi. These kids these days are bad as hell for no reason. Like, little girl, what's your beef with me? I want her to do it again so I can take a picture of her. Because that's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go do that this morning. Um, ideally, I would, you know not be doing this but it's like i want to go because i want these memories with harper and um i've always wanted like my mom to chaperone but because my mom was obviously a single mom when i was growing up she just spent a lot of her obviously her day-to-day -day life working like i don't blame my mom for not doing this type of stuff with me because i know it wasn't really like practical for her to like take off just to come on a field trip you know like it's not that serious um but because i am able to i wanted to just do it with harp she didn't want me to go though that's the funny thing she was like no why would you come i don't need you to come but like, you know how harper is like harper thinks i'm so corny harper thinks i'm not cool yada 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 so i was like i'm going anyways i don't know and i just feel like Time is crazy right now, you know? You could go do things with your kids, why not? So, yeah, we're gonna go do that this morning. Um, I'll probably like try to vlog a little bit on my phone um, so that I could like post some in the vlog because I'm not gonna obviously take my camera into the zoo. That's weird. Um, I love it down here at the art museum, but I hate this art museum is like the worst art museum like ever. It's so boring. <laughs> hurt so freaking bad i think my body is so sore i'm going to the gym but good morning guys it's friday morning let me pause my music it's friday wait yeah, friday morning it's 11 o'clock and zoe and i are on our way to the mall because i want to go to aritzia um i don't have no clothes i have clothes i don't know it's like i have no pants that's what i never have i don't have any pants what's the weather tomorrow what is the source of your trust is issues? That's a good question. I'm gonna think on that, I'm gonna let you know. I have the widget for the CoStar app on my phone and I like read it every day and it asked me what was my trust issues. That's a really good one. So what I'm gonna wear in that weather? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm currently going to like go to Aritzia and stuff. Really just Aritzia and maybe Neiman's cause I think I wanna look at perfumes for a second. Um, 
I'm gonna go into Zara, but like if Zara doesn't have anything, I'll probably go to the Zara at Curie Hill. Because I prefer the Zara at Curie Hill. You wanna have your iPad any louder? Like, what? Um, and then maybe a swing by Steph's house. But I mean, I'll see her tomorrow, so I don't have to swing by her house. But like, if she wanna see me or whatever, I'm just doing money. Um, so this is with me as we're doing today. I ordered groceries. I went to Target the other day, so I'm doing pretty good on my errands. So right now, I just need to find some clothes. Just something to throw on this weekend. I have like officially become that person that like if something is being done my on my weekend, I have to go and buy an outfit for that thing. Like, you know, like I can't just br browse through my closet. And I feel like it's just because a lot of my clothes are like similar, uh, which is obviously my fault because I had like built my capsule wardrobe for so long and then now I'm just not inspired anymore. So I be needing clothes. But my body hurts so freaking bad, it's crazy. But yesterday I did my nails and I just did them plain. I don't know, are they boring? Yes. I want to add a design, but I don't know what design I want, which is why I didn't do anything. So I just went nude, like classic little pinky nude. But the shape, I ate that. My paint job, phenomenal. Like, your girl was a nail, a nail tech, okay? So I had took off my old set of like the gel extensions and I put a fresh set on. He's so lucky. I can't control his iPad from up here. Um, I put a fresh set on and just polish them. If I decide today or tomorrow that I want to add a design, then I'm going to do that. But as of right now, yesterday I didn't feel like it. So yeah, we're just going to go to the mall. Will I montage? We don't know. Because you guys know it's super hard for me to montage when it's just me and Zoe. Because like I'm pushing a stroller and I can't get like the visuals I want. So I don't know. Why are you giving me your what? what? Uh huh? Hey guys, so we went to the mall. It's ten o'clock at night, but I just been in here doing laundry, folding laundry. Um, I had to figure out what I'm wearing tomorrow. I had to pack. Um, what else did I do? I like ate dinner, stuff like that. But I wanted to show you guys what I got from the mall. The stuff that I got from Zara for me, I need to return. Um, I got Harper a little outfit, but she already put it away in her closet. And I didn't get Enzo anything because I couldn't find him anything. Like, the boys' department in the summertime is just boring. So, this weekend, my task is to, like, find him some clothes. But I'm going to edit the vlog tonight and get this vlog up for you guys. Just because it's a two-week vlog. Um, and I just feel like... I need to bust a move or else I'm just never going to do it. Especially because I plan on going out tomorrow. So anyways, from Aritzia, um, I'll put a picture of me in the outfit right here when I'm talking about it. I have this headband on. It's making my head look dry. But my hair is so puffy right here because I didn't straighten my roots. Thank you. It's my phone. You want boss baby? You got boss baby on your iPad too. So from Aritzia, I picked up this little white tennis skirt. Um, this is the micro one, the micro move tennis. Um, I got a size medium. It's $68. <laughs> I wanted the black one, but it was out of stock. But I just really wanted like a tennis skirt to wear with my Travis Scott's for like my travel day. Um, because my Travis Scott's are like white, black, and like that green, khaki green, I picked up um, a black hoodie because it's going to be like a little chilly early in the day. So I got a black Wilbur crop hoodie. I would have preferred a zip up crop hoodie, but they didn't have one. So I just was like, I take what I could get at this point because I'm so last minute. I was going to order this exact outfit, um, but I didn't know what skirt I wanted because it comes in like micro and like a non micro. But I definitely prefer the micro version. That's not me just because you guys know um, proportion wise, it just looks better. So yeah, I got the micro and the medium. I got this in the medium. So it just is super cute with the shorts. And then just to have with the skirt, I picked up like this matching my little crop top. Um, I got this in the medium as well. It's like the same workout material. It's such good quality. This is a size medium and this is called the butter bound um, tee. So I got this so like in the summertime, if I wanna wear all white or go play tennis, I have this little outfit, but I'm gonna be wearing it with this black hoodie. Um, Am I getting a pimple? With my Travis Scott's. But yeah, so they're from Zara. I picked up two things. 
and they both have to go back. So the first thing that I picked up was like this mini dress. It just didn't fit how I thought. I thought it was just gonna be like something super cute to throw on with some heels. It's just like a square tube mini dress. Um, it's like in a um, crepe material. It's cute. I'm also like super, super bloated right now because my period's about to come on in a couple of days. So I feel like when I try on clothes and I'm bloated, I just don't like anything. Like nothing fits me. Like I have the hardest time finding something that I'm like comfortable in. Don't smile at me. Um, like I don't be feeling good at anything. So yeah, I just, it probably would be super cute after next week when my period goes off or whatever and then i picked up this top you guys remember that like top that everybody was getting like in the tan material at the beginning of spring that's like the halter neck and then it like draped they had it in white so i picked it up i picked it up in a medium it was like 46 dollars whatever i was like oh this is gonna be so cute with like a pair of jeans or like a pair of shorts and a heel it's gonna be phenomenal when i tell you i put this shirt on and I couldn't get it off. First of all, I put the shirt on and I couldn't even zip it. That was for one. But then when I tried to get it off, it was stuck. And it was stuck to the point that I was literally this close to cutting it off me. Like this. I was like, I gotta I gotta cut the top off. I can't return it. Like I was stuck in this top for 18 minutes on my lonesome trying to pull it back up over my arms. Never again. I don't know what happened. I think I'm like swollen right now. I think I'm just retaining water weight. It did not fit me so that's going back I would like keep the dress but I mean it's cute but um like the butt area it made my butt look good but then like it was straight at the bottom of the butt I would prefer like a little tightness right there I could get a hem but like I just feel like if I have to get something hemmed I just don't want it like the only thing I'm willing to get hemmed is like denim and stuff um but yeah it's 10 7 I'm kind of tired and it's the last thing I need to do is start editing this vlog at least um I was gonna go to the mall tomorrow, but I honestly hold on. So let me put everything away. I honestly don't think I need anything. Um, I might like try to run into Sephora or something. We'll see. Or Steph said if she goes to the mall, if I need something, she'll just pick it up for me because it's Memorial Day weekend. And if I go, I was gonna go super early, but like it's just hard for me to shop with him. Like today, I had to go spend thirty dollars on candy just to get him cooperate in his stroller. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. That is two week two week vlog. I don't know, it's probably kinda of boring. Who knows? Who knows at this point with me? Um but a lot of you guys Thank you. A lot of you guys were like DMing me and like checking up on me to see if I was feeling better. I am. Um I mean I feel like I'm pretty fine. I guess I'm tired and I'm so bloated right now. Oh, I have picked up this from Amazon because I'm bloated. The Lemmy de Bloat from Kourtney Kardashian. I know. Gimmicky, right? Love the bottle. Don't like the taste. It's like blackberry, I think. It's not really like, yeah, it's blackberry flavored. Not really my thing. But I got this because the reviews were really, really good. What are you screaming for? <laughs> you ready for bed? It's almost your bedtime. Whoa. Who you want to watch? Um, so yeah, I got these to try because everyone says that like these work really, really quickly. It's just a prebiotic and a probiotic. So I was like, can I just take this for bloating then? But whatever. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I had ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon this week. I just didn't show you guys because I'm just lazy. Like, I, had, like, I had got some like Bottega <coughs> dupe earrings. I tried to buy some perfume today. Yeah, I just... I'm a little shambles, like in shambles lately. I need to like start keeping a to-do list or something because I just be forgetting. That was so mean. And you're making a mean face with me as you threw it at me on purpose. But yeah, I'm going to call it a night. I'm super tired. So I'm going to start editing. Um, I love you guys. I will see you guys next week. Thanks for being patient with your girl while I kind of just took a week to myself and hung out with my friends. But I'm so excited to go hang out with my friends tomorrow again. Like, not me seeing my friends multiple weeks in a row. Oh, oh, oh. Rip me out the plastic. Um, but yeah, all right. I'll see you guys next week. Love you guys.